Everybody, welcome back to another Borderlands 3 guide. Today I am back and I'm going to be bringing you guys a little bit of a, a tip and trick video kind of thing. Um, so I was just on the map of Rashus Canopy up here in uh, this area and you can see there is a crew challenge to defeat the legendary Jabba Wagai. Um, now I thought this was just like any of the other legendary hunts where you've just got to farm the boss until a legendary weapon dropped. I did not get one for hours, and I was literally at it for hours. Um, now, I did ignore a little bit of a thing uh, at the beginning where the legendary hunt thing pops up, and uh, it actually says, I think it was Hammerlock, turned around and says, just be careful, don't get them wet. So I thought, you know, don't let them go down into this water area here, etc. Well, after a couple of hours of farming, I thought there's something not right about this guy. He's not dropping a legendary. So I decided to use the, the closest thing to water I could find, which was a cryo weapon, obviously frozen water. And then I noticed that he actually split into two. So I did it again and again and again. And these guys just keep duplicating every time you hit them with cryo. Um, you can kill them all with just normal weapons. Once you use normal weapons, they don't actually come back. But if you use cryo weapons or grenades or anything like that, you can see right now, it's duplicating and duplicating. And I then began to notice that there was purple weapons dropping from them. So no legendaries, and I can confirm I've been doing this for a long time. You'll see footage in a second of it switching over to a ridiculous amount of weapons after I've been doing this for quite a long time. Uh, no legendaries did pop out. They might have one, but if they have, it's probably a million to one chance to actually get one. Lots of trashy white weapons, but you can see ammo is dropping. I'm constantly filling up my grenades, um, and I'm just blue weapons, purple weapons, things like that. There is vending machines not away. I'm thinking this could be an awesome glitch. Uh, well, not glitch, more like a, a slight exploit to just get yourself so much money from selling purple weapons. Obviously, uploading, uh, upgrading your loot as well. You know, not all of us are like me, but just tend to use legendary weapons. Um, so, if you like your purple weapons, you can uh, obviously get some really decent ones of them. You can also get uh, ammo, like I said, etc. But I also noticed as well, although I am over leveled for this area because I've been farming legendary weapons you get XP from it as well. So if you have a secondary character on console that you want to uh, join um, at level one or that kind, well, obviously lower level and you need to power level them, then you can just do that. And although it's not giving mad XP at the minute, then I began to think there is mayhem mode. So on mayhem mode, um, I don't know if these guys will have the chance to drop legendary weapons as well, but also the XP for this would be insane. So uh, when I finally get around to getting, uh, you know, further on in the game, getting to mayhem mode and things like that, I will come back, give this method a try, and just see what it is like uh, for XP wise, etc. But yeah, just a little tip for you there, guys. If you're in this area, like I said, it's in Varash's Canopy. It's the legendary hunt. You saw the map location at the beginning. Come down here with some cryo grenades, with some cryo guns, and just farm your asses off because this thing is awesome. And it's also quite a lot of fun as well just to keep them going. As long as you hit them once with some ice, then they will duplicate and you can just keep duplicating and duplicating and duplicating them. Uh, and if anyone has got, uh, you know, two accounts, whatever, and tries this on Mayhem mode, let me know. Good source of XP as well, because this could be an awesome power solo, uh, sorry, power leveling map uh, area. So, yeah, anyway, guys, just thought I'd bring that to you, just in case anyone hasn't clicked onto it as of yet. Just a nice little method of potential power leveling as well as weapon farming, duplicating things uh, with the Jabberwa guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.